Um, next up, uh, we have Emerson. Um, so go ahead and take it away, Emerson. Awesome. Well, uh, <clears throat> thanks everybody for being here, uh, spending your Friday watching all these cool people give talks. Uh, my name is Emerson Veenstra. It's also my OSM username. And I'm here today to kind of demo and, and talk about a tool that I've created that I think will help uh, some of us here um, uh, in our efforts to reach new mappers and teach new mappers and uh, make the map sort of better. So uh, my role for in OSM for the past like couple of years has been uh, focused on validation, quality assurance, um, fixing errors, and teaching new mappers who make errors or old mappers who make errors. And so what I do is I'll go in kind of clean up a region and then monitor that region for new errors and then reach out to those mappers via change set comments. And, you know, if it's new mappers, I'll teach them, you know, I'll, I'll have wiki links and kind of show them the right way to do things. Um, if it's old mappers, like for example, Matt Wilden accidentally deleting highway tags, then I don't need to teach him. I just sort of like say tisk tisk and send him the change set link. Um, sorry, Matt, if you're here, but like, I just want to make sure everybody knows board members aren't perfect either. Um, and so one of the things I use a lot, of course, is change set discussion comments. Um, and for those of you who don't know, um, change set discussion comments weren't really part of the original open street map design. They were added on, I think in 2014. And um, so because of that, they're not as well integrated, I think, as other parts of the platform. Uh, for example, the thing that come as, comes up with me the most is, you know, if, if I comment on a user's change set and a user comments back, I get an email and I go and, you know, look at the change set, all's good, you know, everybody's happy. But if a user doesn't comment on my email, um, or if a user doesn't comment on my change set and um, then nothing happens. Like I don't get an email. I don't get like a notification. It just kind of, there's just kind of a drop ball with no follow-up. And I decided to, um, make a tool because I'd been using, um, spreadsheets and markdown notes and everything. Um, but at the scale that I was doing it. So in the past eight months, I've made about 400 change set comments. Um, so the, at that scale, doing it manually is kind of hard to do. Uh, so I created this tool, which I will show you probably, um, which is called OSM discussion tracker. And, uh, let me make sure I'm doing this right. All right, cool. So, um, this is the homepage, uh, I've already logged in just for the sake of time. Um, but it's a pretty basic and uh, just before I go into it, as you'll see, like I am much better at like making things work than making things look pretty. So it's, it's pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Um, also I, I was hoping to be a little further along in the development. Um, just stuff, life stuff made me kind of pull time away from this, but it works, uh, OSM discussion tracker.com. You can view it today. You can log in. Um, it's just OAuth. So nothing fancy, but I just wanted to quick do a demo uh, to show kind of the main features and, and workflows um, of this. So at the left, well, on the right is just the help. Um, on the left is your watched change sets. So watched change sets are change sets that uh, need your attention for some reason. So um, I'm going to, so like, for example, like, Gun Goose. Hi, Gun Goose, if you're here. Uh, you're in a demo and you didn't know it. Uh, so last night, Gun Goose was conflating addresses and buildings and ID, you know, had an ID moment and decided to do that. Um, you know, Gun Goose is an experienced mapper, like he wouldn't do this on purpose. And so I just kind of, you know, alerted him to the fact that that happened. And so it'll pop up here because I commented on it. And um, so now that I've commented on it, um, the next thing to do usually is to snooze it. Um, so snooze it for two days. You can choose the number of hours you want. And then 
uh, when I refresh it, you can see that it's disappeared from the sidebar because you've, you know, you snoozed it. Um, but then if we imagine that like we're time traveling 48 hours in the future and it pops back up, then that's a reminder to you to like check to see if they've changed anything, check to see if they've, you know, done something but haven't commented um, or if you need to like escalate it somehow. Um, I'm not going to give like a full, um, you know, masterclass on how to handle this stuff. Like you can probably figure it out. Um, but if say, for example, somebody does comment like Alice and P, um, you know, I commented yesterday morning snoozed for 48 hours. So it should still be snoozed, but because she commented back, uh, it pops back up, it unsnoozes itself and, uh, it says has response. Um, and That's so, you know, she did something, you know, she, there's a crossing tag, uh, mix up and she said she fixed it. So then, you know, I can say like, you know, she fixed it. So I'll just say, awesome. Thanks. And comment. Um, and then that shows up obviously as a normal comment. And, um, you'll notice again, this is version 0 0.2. So that comment disappears for a few minutes until replication catches up. Um, one of those things that I'll be fixing eventually. Um, how much time do I have left? All right. So, um, another thing you can do, for example, Nikros, uh, had this change set. He requested a review on it because Josem thought it was suspicious. It wasn't suspicious. Um, so I was just like, yeah, you're cool. Um, totally fine. And he said, cool. Thanks for the confirmation. So this change set is pretty much done. I don't need to do anything with it anymore. So you can resolve it. And resolving is kind of like snoozing except for permanent. So as long as nobody comments on it, it will never come back into your filter, into your watch change sets list. Um, if somebody does comment on it, it will come back and, uh, and come up back to the top. Um, the final thing that I wanted to show was for, oh, shoot, I already, <laughs> let me do a different one where I didn't make a note already. Um, so like this user, I commented on Monday, he hasn't responded yet. They haven't responded yet. And, uh, so usually I'll go and send them a message. Um, and then in the app, I can make a note, you know, it said message user via OSM messages, and then I can make a note and that note doesn't show up on the change set. It doesn't actually get sent, but it's for me to keep track of what I've done. And for other users, if somebody else is watching this change set, they can see, oh, Emerson's got it handled. Like I don't really need to do anything. Um, notes are public. You know, so type accordingly. And uh, yeah, that's a basic overview. Um, like I said, there's uh, there's help here, which kind of goes into a little more detail. Um, there's a matrix channel uh, for uh, support. Also software channel, the OSM World Discord. It's a great place to go. Um, there's a, it's open source on GitHub. It, I haven't made it public yet, but I'll do that in a few minutes. Um, open source on GitHub. So if you have any issues, pull requests, uh, feel free to send those um, and I will take a look at them. So that is pretty much it. Um, and I will look at Q&A um, until somebody kicks me off. Um, I'm trying to think of when I started. Rory, uh, if uh, I think this was during my thing, do you use any tools to monitor different areas? Yes, I do. I use a number of tools, uh, mostly Osimcha and Osmos. Um, so I'll go in and clean up. I'll go in and look at a varying number of Osmos classes to do an initial cleanup. And then, um, you know, I'll keep an eye on Osmos and Osimcha to monitor for various errors that I can then follow up. So, yeah. Those are the tools that I mostly use. OSMI as well, and also waterway maps or waterway loops. I forget the name. Um, that is a new tool that is also cool for different types of errors. So yeah, there's several. That's great, Emerson. I love seeing um, tools that help make the experience of 
contributing and working in OSM better. So that's awesome. Um, like Maggie said in the chat, we're going to take a little bit longer break now. Um, so do what you need to do to stretch your legs and everything. And uh, we'll see you back in a little bit um, to hear from the OSM US board. Thanks again to Ariel, Quincy, and Emerson. <laughs>